So we have oh, the lobster goodness. mac and cheese topped with fried lobster. And then we have the alligator, fried alligator and waffle. Whoa. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's go with this one first and then this one. What, what's this now? Fried alligator. Fried alligator and waffle. So this is this is a take off the chicken and waffle thing, but you just decided because you chef tree you, you guys do something you just different. hardcore like that. Yeah. You're just, gonna go, you're just gonna go with the gator. Huh? You gotta get you something different. All right, man. Well, shoot. Let me check this out. My name is Stephen Bardo, former flying Illini and NBA point guard turned basketball analyst. I have traveled the world through basketball, and the one thing I have found is everyone loves food and sports. Good, y'all. It's your man Stephen Bardo coming at you with another edition of America Loves Food and Sports. We've got a special episode today. We are in Oak Park. We're not at a restaurant. We're at a big, beautiful home in these great neighborhoods of Oak Park. We've got a special treat. Chef Tremont, a private chef, is going to hook up a special cuisine for me and my special guests. I can't wait for you to check out the food and also to check out our special guests. So let's get it started. I remember like this one time I was soaking in the sunshine Something, something about a gun crime Used to waiting on the punchline But sometimes it don't always pan out Look, I'm sorry that he ran out When I had a big wheel My daddy used to say a bunch of I understand now Pero así es la vida Si no escuchas, mami, mira Yo hago este cada día Y yo sé que te gustaría Andar conmigo, habla un poquito Trata de evitar los mosquitos Porque no olvidamos los delitos Y bailar como estamos en Puerto Rico I told you this is gonna be a special episode and I like to keep my promises. I got my man, uh, head coach at Milwaukee Panthers, University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Patrick Baldwin. Coach, thanks a lot for joining, man. Thank you, I appreciate you having me on. Yeah, I, I know you're busy. I know you're suited and booted, <laughs> having to do some work and everything, but I appreciate you taking the time. No, it's great. This is this is being back home for me. I used to live here in, in uh, Oak Park and it's great being back home over here. Good, good. I'm glad to have you, man. And you know, we said that we weren't at a restaurant tonight. We're at a very, beautiful home in the Oak Park neighborhood, but we've got a special treat. Chef Tremont is hooking it up back there, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I'm my mouth is watering now because I can smell it. We got a chance to look at some of the food. So if Chef Tremont, if you are ready, come on in. I want to introduce you to one of the better chefs in all Chicago. This is Chef Tremont with Savor 27. Is that right? Sir. Oh, okay. Oh, so you just you breaking out. Now, you break out the good stuff. Now, oh, now yeah. you know I'm from Carbondale, dog. I don't know nothing about this, man. Tell, what, what, what we got here? Fine silver? Got some fine silver for you. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't get this treatment at restaurants. This is special. This is special. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. And so we've got the, the silver here, and we're going to get into the food in a second. Um, 
Coach, I, I, I really, I got so many things I want to talk to you about. Uh, let, let me do this. Let me let you share with our audience your background, because I think it's fascinating. No, I appreciate it. Uh, originally from Leavenworth, Kansas, mm -hmm. which is right near Kansas City. And, um, you know, if, if it comes from, if you're talking about basketball, I have three brothers, three sisters. They, you know, gave me my way and, and beat me up because I'm the youngest in my family. Oh, you're youngest of seven? Youngest of seven. That's why you were so tough. Go <laughs> ahead. All right, go ahead. So, so the youngest of seven, um, after high school, attended Northwestern University. Mm -hmm. um, Where we played against each other, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, And Big Ten player, or defensive player of the year, both of us. Yep, yep. And uh, so it was, it was great, you know, having that opportunity being here at uh, Northwestern. And after that, uh, played for a little bit, you know, in, in Europe and uh, had a great time and then started my coaching career. Been at, at it for about 18 years now. Yeah. And, um, and then came back to my alma mater, uh, probably about 2013, you know, was there for four years. Mm -hmm. Uh, made a grand trip to uh, the NCAA tournament for the first time and yes, loved sir. that, and it was it was tremendous. Yeah, you guys had a great run, man, and and you know now that you're at Milwaukee, but I, I want to give people a sense as uh, Chef Tremont is bringing in the food here. So let me hold that question. Let's see, yes, sir. Let's see what we're gonna dig into first here. <laughs> All right, Chef, so, break it down for us, bro. Right here we have the uh, shrimp and grits. Ooh. And this is uh, Saber 27 original signature uh, corned beef tacos. So we have a corned beef tacos. Corned beef tacos. You're not gonna get it anywhere else except for <laughs> Saber 27. And we have our signature uh, grilled cabbage. So wait a minute. You got signature grilled cabbage, and you got hash or, or corned beef. Corned beef. We we smoked the brisket. Took us about eight hours to smoke the brisket. Uh, we seasoned it with our special Saver 27 seasoning and we grilled our cabbage. Uh, we have a signature marinade that we've had for about 10 years uh, as far as the marinade go. Uh, and then we just put it all together and give the people something different. So Chef, how, how did you get your start in the business? So uh, it's funny, I got my start. My son was playing uh, baseball with uh, Jackie Robinson West. Oh, and, uh, yeah, yeah. We found ourselves at the park literally six days a week. <laughs> so we went from eating fast yeah, food yeah, yeah. to mm -hmm. saying, you know what, let's bring a grill out. And we'll sit out here, me and some of the other dads, and we'll grill. So it went from one or twice, one, you know, once or twice a week to every day. And then we just started you know, creating things, you know, we just start putting things together, coming up with different ideas and bouncing different ideas off of each other. And from there, we started catering. And then I attended uh, culinary school. Which one? I went to Washburn at Kennedy King mm -hmm. on the south side. Mm -hmm. So a city gotcha. college of Chicago. There you go. Uh, and that's where I really, you know, honed my skills. And that's when the magic started happening. I'm just driving them up to Milwaukee. Forget that. I know, right? Oh, man, this taco is serious, man. Uh, big up to Kennedy King College doing it right. Developing Chicago's own talent here. I love to hear that. Um, man, wait a minute. There's, a spe there's something special in this taco. I don't want you to give away your secret, but give me a hint. Because there's a nice mixture of, of flavor in here. What something sweet. Something yeah, savory. yeah. <laughs> Something spicy. Savor 27. Savor 27. So it's that, it's that secret sauce. It's that secret sauce. Man, listen. This is excellent. What what what'd you think of the shrimp and grits? Uh, the, shrimps, the shrimp and grits is it really good. Okay. And I, I just can remember going back home and my parents, my mom really putting it together. We used to always eat the grits. I never had it with shrimp before. Oh, really? So this is unbelievable. Oh, man. You got you to gotta get some of that. All right. I'm definitely going to get into this. But look at that. Mm. You see that? And got that's a little cheese hanging on the side. A little cheese. <laughs> little, 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 little cheese. A little cheese. And I'm gonna get it all. What? <laughs> Man, listen. Really good. Are these grandma's recipes or something? <laughs> you need to come up with them. No, they actually they are. You know, uh, God bless mm. me with a good palate. You know, so you I. Right about that. You know, me about and my my team, we bounce ideas off of each other. You know, a lot of our. Uh, Food was made by accident, you know. Explain um, that. So Why by accident? Somebody forgot to get a particular 
you know, the item for the recipe or whatever we wanted to do. And we just started putting stuff together based off what we had mm. around the kitchen. So, you know, a lot of our ideas, you know, actually happened off of accident. So, well, here we are. Corned beef tacos, the shrimp and grits. Okay. The peppers. Are those bell peppers? Yeah, you have your bell peppers in there. Uh, season, you know, we, we season. Uh, like my chef used to tell me, you know, use butter, fattest flavor. Mm. You know, everybody's eating healthy, but sometimes you just want some, want a little fat. So, fattest flavor. And this is definitely flavorful. It is. How about it's that? really good. Um, what part of the city are you from, chef? I'm from the south side. Uh, I'm from uh, the hundreds. I'm actually from the uh, Washington Heights neighborhood. Okay. So I went to Marcus Garvey Elementary School. Uh, assistant principal was uh, the late, great Mr. Haley, who founded Jackie Robinson West. Mm, okay. I was fortunate enough to play for Jackie Robinson West. My, my brothers played for Jackie Robinson West. My son played for Jackie Robinson West. So uh, I'm, I'm a Southside kid. And so for the viewers that don't know, Jackie Robinson West produced a World Series team, Little League, what, three years ago? Mm, four. What was it, four years ago? Four years ago. So this, this is a World Series program. And Jackie Robinson League has brought so many guys <laughs> through the South Side. Guys my age rave about playing in that league. Yeah. So I'm glad you brought that up. Um, uh, Saver 27. Let's get a look at this. <laughs> look at that right there. So you got the city line, but he's got the cooking utensils for the emblem and the name of his company there. That's sharp, man. How'd you come Thank up you. with that? I was sitting down and we were bouncing names off each other and we were thinking, you know, what can we call our food? Um, we wanted something that said love. You know, when you eat and people cook for you, you know, you, you cook with love. Mm -hmm. um, and people can feel it when you, when you really enjoy what you do. Mm -hmm. People can feel it. So, I know me, when I'm eating something that's really good to me, I might close my eyes, <laughs> I might moan a little bit and take it all in, and you know, I savor the moment. Mm -hmm. And that's how we came up with savor, okay. because you want to savor the moment. You know, food is an experience, you know, it's, it's, it's not, you know, I mean, it's supposed to, you know, give us energy and, and you know, give us fuel for our body, but it's also an experience. You know? mm -hmm. You want to enjoy it, so we we said you're gonna savor the food, you're gonna savor the moment, and then um, I was born on January 27th. Okay, so, savor 27th. Nice. nice, I love it. So if you guys aren't moaning <laughs> and making noise when you eat, then you need to come see Chef Fremont. Because obviously the food's not good. <laughs> oh boy, you kill you killed me on the moan part. I love it. Okay, so what we what we got? We got some other stuff coming. We got some more stuff coming. All right, and uh. I'll take this away and we'll All get right. some more stuff All out. Right. While you do that, I'm going to continue talking over here to Coach Baldwin. Um, I so might chase the food. <laughs> yeah, right. Especially the shrimp and grits, man. That, that, that was serious. Yeah. So, Coach, um, you, you, you had a great career playing. Yes. You were able to play overseas. You transitioned that into coaching. What's been the biggest challenge in your coaching career to get to the place that where you are today? Well, I think the, the biggest challenge has just been the, the patience. Mm. Because, you know, when you get, you know, say you're in year eight, you're, you're, you're nine, mm. you're 10 and you're an assistant coach and you want to be the best assistant coach that you can possibly be. Um, you know, you start thinking about man, when am I going to get my opportunity? Mm. You know, when is that chance coming in? And, and uh, so when you're at 10, you don't think about year 17 or year 16. That's right. When you get that opportunity, you just continue to do the best job you can. And. You know, what was fortunate for me was going back to my alma mater at Northwestern and having an opportunity to, to coach under Chris Collins. Mm -hmm. And that was a treat because obviously, you know, Chris Collins came from Duke, I mean, Coach K, um, so much success, national championships, all those things. So he brought an element of that to Northwestern mm -hmm. and, and he really taught us how to win taught us what it takes to win and the process to get there and because of because of that because of the success that we had over there um, it propelled me you know to, to getting the opportunity at, at Milwaukee and 
and uh, you know, never looking back. It, it's a it's a great opportunity that I have at Milwaukee, and but I remember the days when I was grinding as an assistant yeah. year one, year two, and and trying to to make your mark, and and uh, so it's been it's been a blessing. It's been really good, a lot of fun. A lot of long hours. I don't mind grinding and working and, sure. and doing all this stuff, but it's it's really been been a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I I marvel at you guys, man, because I have so much respect for coaches that you know really dedicate their time. You talk about ten thousand hours, and people will see Jawan Howard is the new head coach at Michigan, and they'll say he's an overnight success. Yeah, well, it took fifteen years <laughs> of overnight success. So, uh, come on, chef. Let's see. what we got next. <laughs> all right. So we have oh, the lobster God. mac and cheese topped with fried lobster. And then we have the alligator, fried alligator and waffle. Whoa. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's go with this one first and then this one. What's this now? Fried alligator. Fried alligator and waffle. So this is this is a take off the chicken and waffle thing, but you just decided because you chef tree mind. You, you guys do something a little You just different. hardcore like that. Yeah. You're, just gonna <laughs> go, you're just gonna go with the gator. Huh? You gotta get you something different. All right, man, well shoot. Let me check this out. Cause I this is this not only looks good, ladies and gentlemen, let me move my beard so you can get a good shot of that. That not only looks good, that smells great. Mm. But I gotta get in some of this gator. Yeah, cleanse my palate. Let me get, yeah. let me get some of this gator. And see you smart coach, you cleanse your palate with water, <laughs> I cleanse mine with beer. <laughs> so go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Let me get I gotta get some of this waffle too. So, Chef, I bet you got a lot of friends, bro. Yeah, the way you can cook. <laughs> you ever hook your friends up with, with some of this grub, or you, you make them you, you make them come correct as well? I mean, we, we always cooking. I'm always cooking for people <laughs> and, and entertaining. How was that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm. What is a sauce that you put over the, the gator? That's a Saber 27 Signature Aioli sauce. Mm. This, but, is, this is really good. The sauce with the syrup and the waffles and the gator? Oh my gosh. So that's actually not syrup. It's uh it's a cinnamon honey butter. So <laughs> we we made that as well. So everything we we're making. Okay, wait a minute. Cinnamon honey butter on the waffle. Your signature aioli sauce on the gator. Correct. Man, listen. Um I may not leave here tonight because I'm telling you, this, this is, is really, this is really good. Oh my goodness. This is really good. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let me get some of that. Let you get some of that, man. And tell me what you think. Some of that mac and cheese. Perfect. Man. Chef, I'm going to tell you. Really good. And we got more coming? We got more coming. <laughs> we got more coming. You make sure I can wrap this up now. I got you. We, oh. got, we got more of that. Yeah, I got, got a little, little long kitchen. ride. So, yeah. We got more of that in the kitchen. It's really good. Man, you got to know, I don't like a lot of heaviness in the food. None of this is heavy. The, the, the taste come out well, but it's not overpowering. Nothing's overpowering. So this is done very, very well. Because sometimes when you try to add the mac and cheese, you got to do it right. Am I right? You got to do it right. See, I'm not a chef like you. I'm a professional eater. <laughs> so I know you got to do it right. And you have definitely done it right. These are excellent. Thank you. Thank well you. Well done. What would be your um, most popular dish that you create on a, on a daily basis that people keep coming back for? What would that be? Those would be your next two dishes. Mm, okay. Well, let's so we say the best for last. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because this is, uh, if it's better than this, I can't wait to see it. Because so, no. this, is, this is excellent. Now, and getting your personal life a little bit. Are you married? Okay. No, I'm actually I'm not married. Okay, not married. No, sir. You got a girlfriend? No. I'm not just putting home. you on blast. <laughs> okay. Because so, I'm just saying, I, I'm surprised you you'd have your pick of the litter when you can cook like this, bro. I mean, you know, I'm I'm chasing the dream right now. Me and my team, we're chasing the dream. We're trying to be able to uh, bring a restaurant to the South Side. Mm. Um, we've been fortunate enough to have some things in work, so we should be. You know, completing that goal um, in the next few months. Well, people oh, can wow. come get this food every day. Okay. Um, nice. So that's what we've been working hard at. Okay. Okay. Um, so the next two dishes are, are the next two dishes are, are, are signature dishes. Um, those are the go-to. Okay. Like, those are the go-to. We. That's what you know, savor it. Huh? Yeah, 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 that's the go-to. You talk about. 
uh, defensive player of the, of the year. Uh -huh. You know, we put these two dishes up against anybody. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> well, okay, well, so, okay, well so, let, grab that so you can keep that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's get to that because that right. Chef Tremont coming with the 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 sports analogy. I, I love it, man. Oh, you can only get this stuff from private chefs who cook like this that are enthusiasts of the game. We were talking to some of his staff. Uh, we had a great time, uh, Coach and I, talking to them about who they thought was going to win uh, at the NBA playoffs. So you got to love it. And wait a minute. Do we have a half a pineapple here? This is our signature pineapple bowl. Mm. Oh, my goodness. So this is the shrimp pineapple bowl. And this is our lamb with the puree sweet potato and uh, pralines and walnut. So wait a minute, Chef. You're, you're actually you're, you're being health conscious as well with the food that you create. We try to. Okay, because a lot of times I would that would be sweet potatoes, but that's puree. Yeah, it's a puree sweet potato. So, so that we we grind it. We got some nice flavor in there. Uh, help yourself, man. Yeah. Tell us what you think. All right. What else do you have in this shrimp thing that, that you can tell us? I don't want you to get so away. So we, we have rice, we have corn, we have pineapple, uh, we have peppers, and the shrimp. Oh my goodness. I think I'm in Costa Rica or something, y'all. <laughs> I'm eating out a pineapple. <laughs> Come on. Look at this. Man, that's great. This lamb is good. That is great. The lamb's good too? You got it. Yeah. Yeah, see, you were, you were cutting it. I'm just going to go in. <laughs> I'm going in. Um, wow. I didn't want to ruin the masterpiece. Mm -hmm. It's good. Go ahead. Mm. You get the puree as well? Oh, the puree, puree is really good. Back at home. Mmm. <laughs> Special sauce, isn't it? Special you sauce. You can't tell me what it is. Can you? <laughs> can't tell me what it is. Can you tell me one thing that's in it? In the sauce? Is it citrus? No citrus. No citrus? No citrus. Um... Wine. No wine. What am I tasting? Start with L. Start with? Start with L. Licorice? Love. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, so Chef Tremont put me in my place over here. I love it. Um, man, that's excellent. That's really good. You can get some of this puree. Did you get yeah, some she, of this? I haven't got any of that yet. Try the puree because, and with the walnuts in it, right? Correct. Yeah, it's it's really good. Mm, mm, this is mm. this is back at home right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so y'all see what I'm doing, right? <laughs> I'm loosening up my belt, like for real, for real, because I, I need a little bit more room. Uh, oh man. Let me get some of that. Pineapple. Yeah, get some of that. Get some in deep in there too. Yeah. With that. The, oh yeah. Man. So, all right. So, yeah. favorite? Are are you a sports fan? I'm definitely a sports sports fan. Uh, Who your team? All Chicago. I, I love the Bulls. Well said. I love the Bears. I'm diehard White Sox. Oh, thank you. <laughs> South Side, I, thought, I thought you were gonna say Cubs. I'm about to run your body because you know. Come on now. You know, I, I like the Cubs when they're not playing the Sox. But I'm diehard white side. See, I'm you're a politician too, huh? <laughs> you know, I like that response, bro. That was a good response. You know, I'm a Chicago kid, so yeah, yeah. I I love the Blackhawks, the, okay. the sky, the okay. fire. You Look know, at every, you. everything Chicago. I'm I'm rolling with it. So Chef Tremont over here, he could he could jump on this side. I couldn't <laughs> jump on that side because I can I, I can cook a little bit, but nothing like this. Uh, man, this was excellent. Thank you, thank you. Is there anything else that? Am I missing that you want to get out there? Like, how can people find you? Um, you can find us on Instagram at saver underscore 27. Mm -hmm. uh, you can email us at eat saver 27. Um, or, you know, look for us around the city. We're always doing events, different places. We have some events coming up at Wild Blossom Winery on uh, 90th and Hermitage. So, you know, we're all over. Okay. Now, let me ask you something because Instagram has been wonderful for chefs. Yes. Did you utilize that platform to help build your I, business as I well? I did. I was uh, putting food on Instagram and then I had somebody tell me that, hey, you have to start hashtagging. Mm. I'm like, hashtagging. Mm -hmm. so, uh, <laughs> so I just started, you know, doing hashtag uh, Chicago Eats, hashtag 
Chicago food, hashtag Chicago foodie, hashtag black chef, whatever I can think of, I hashtag. Okay. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people found me from the hashtag. So. Really? Okay. So they found the Save the 27 brand from, from all the hashtags. Um, we get a lot of business, word of mouth. You know, we do something for one person and they have a friend there. And next thing you know, we're doing a birthday party for the friend. We're doing a graduation. We're doing an anniversary. We're doing a wedding. Uh, so uh, the word of mouth, the city of Chicago has come out and support us. Mm. Um, and they're looking to continuously support us as we, as we grow and build. You may act like I got some sense because I literally <laughs> undid my belt. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Um, last thing I want to ask because we, we like to ask questions and, you know, really leave some gems for some younger people. So there was a younger person that was thinking about a young lady, young man that wanted to follow in your footsteps and have the type of success you've had. What would be one bit of advice that you could give them that would help them along their journey? Uh, I truly... I'm not gonna say I believe this. This is something that I know. God has given everybody a gift. Yes. And it's up to you to figure it out and tap into it. So once you tap into your gift, you'll never work another day in your life. You know, you do something that you enjoy doing. Like, I mean, people pay me to do this and I love doing this. I can tell. So yeah. uh, oh, that's what that L was in that, <laughs> in that lamb that's, shop, that's what right? L was. So, <laughs> right. You right. Know, me and my team, um, we consist of family. And you know we, we do it because we, we love doing it. We like the the smiles that you know we we put on people's faces. Um, so I was able to you know find my gift after going to college and spending that money to get that degree. Uh, I realized you know what I like doing this over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So uh, then I went the alternative route and got into, you know, cooking. So okay. I'm just glad and thankful that I found my niche and found my gift. And we're glad and thankful that you're here tonight no hooking up this food, it. man. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> job, Chef, man. This was no great. Doubt about it. Um, no doubt about we're it. We're going to sit here and, and eat a little bit. I'm going to continue to uh, interview right them ahead. and drink this beer. But, brother, you put your foot in it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Like, like, like my grandmother used to say, <laughs> you put your foot in it, man. Well done. Did you want to say something that I, I failed to ask? You know, I, I know we talked about, and I, I mentioned it with Kendall Gill last time that he, you know, he was picking up food with the left when it's left hand. When I used to watch Kendall Gill, I always knew he dunked left. And now I'm thinking about it. You said that that he always did everything lefty or yeah, wrote right lefty. He left. He get he dunk left, but he's right handed. Yeah, and, and I was amb I'm ambidextrous. So my first two years in college, I was lefty shooting lefty. Um, found out I was a little bit broke there, <laughs> so I switched righty. Shot so much better, and and um, and then I love to sing. I, I've done national anthems uh, before games. So that's where those pipes come yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Church choir. You know, grew up in the church. Oh, and, is that right? You know, my dad's you know telling me to be quiet from the pews. <laughs> oh wow! Can can we get a bar? You you can get a little bit of a bar. What 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 do you want? I'll what give you, you something. Go ahead. I don't know. What the problem is, but you seem to be telling me old stories. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't know if we can top that. I was going to talk about being amphibious, <laughs> ambidextrous, but the brother can sing. Oh, man, that's great, man. Yeah, thank you. I uh, appreciate you, Coach. No, I appreciate you. Thanks for taking you. out the time, man. And I hope you enjoyed the food as much oh, as I did. No, I enjoyed it too much, so. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. Okay. Well, guys, I told you we weren't coming from a restaurant. We came from a house in Oak Park, a beautiful home, and we're in the basement, and Chef Tremont hooked it up. I'm talking about alligator and waffles and lobster and mac and cheese and shrimp and grits and everything else was fantastic. So I told you this was gonna be a special edition. So special thanks to Chef Tremont for hooking up the grub. Special thanks also to head coach Patrick Baldwin of the Milwaukee Panthers. Listen, he can sing, he can coach. He was former Defensive Player of the Year in the Big Ten. So make sure if you get a chance to get up to Milwaukee during the basketball season, go support his Milwaukee Panthers because they play a great brand of basketball. You will not be disappointed. That'll do it for this edition of America Loves Food and Sports. 
I'm still trying to pull my belt together, y'all, but it's all good. Until next time, holla.